over the last two modules, we've talked about difference tests. We started with the chi-square test of independence, then we talked about the student's t-test, and we talked about the one-way analysis of variance. In this unit, we're going to switch our gears and talk about relationships. In chapter 19, you're going to learn about correlations. And you're going to learn how to conduct a correlation and how to read a correlation matrix table. And then you're also going to calculate correlations on our actual study data using PSPP. In chapter 20, you're going to learn about both simple linear regressions and multiple linear regressions. And you're also going to use our actual data set that we've collected and run multiple linear regression tests. And start thinking about how it is that we're going to go about analyzing uh, our actual data set so that we can finish out that project. You also need to complete and read chapter 13 and 14 in PAM and complete phases 6 and 7 this week for the final project. These two uh, actually kind of go together, so it makes sense to kind of do both of them. While I've separated it out, it really does go together. Now in chapters, or in phase 6, the rationale, this is where you're going to be using your literature review and the literature review from other people to build the arguments. Now remember, we talked about arguments back in chapter 2 of the Wrench et al. book. So if you need more information on how to use research to build an argument, Go back and look at chapter two, and it will show you step by step how we show how different research articles get linked together to actually come up with a possible hypothesis. So we need to really think through some very clear rationales so that these are logical, strong arguments that we are building and leading into the hypotheses. Now, of course, if you do not have the literature to support building a hypothesis, then we actually will ask a research question. But you still need to provide that rationale. You still need to show why there hasn't been this information and why you think there may or may not be a specific relationship there based on other types of information. And in phase seven, it is the method section. In this section, you're going to be filling out the alpha reliability and the means and the standard deviations that go along with the measures. Previously, we actually worked on those when you turn in the literature review. You gave a basic first draft of the method section, and I provided that information for you. Now we're going to be going through and actually filling it out by running our alpha reliabilities and then implementing all the information that we get about our measures so that we can have a completed method section. Now this is a lot of work that we're going to be doing on Module 9, so please make sure that you're staying on top of things. And if you have any questions at all, at any point, that's what that general discussion area is for. So please don't hesitate to ask questions there.